All right, so I'm doing this video just to tell y'all that y'all have been lied to and really explain what I mean by this. So a lot of y'all don't realize that you in a prison planet or that you on hell. So I'm going to just show it to you like this. The Mercedes Benz logo. Y'all might not know this by, not, by looking at it. See, these are logos that have been around for a long time, but nobody is paying attention. I'm just going to show everything to y'all. So the Mercedes Benz logo. You think nothing of it when you see it, but you don't know that it's a it's a concave hexagon hexagon, you feel me? And as we know that's Saturn's logo. Or that's just what Saturn is. It's the hexagon. That's what's on the north pole of, of Saturn. So now that y'all know that, we can just move on, you feel me? But obviously people they don't know, you feel me? It's right in y'all faces though. You know what I'm saying? This is sacred geometry. What they're doing to you is casting spells. Do you realize that we call things, when we spell things, you feel me? We write in spells. Cursive. Curse words. Don't that sound like magic to you? And these are everyday things. A lot of our language is related to really a bunch of symbolism. What the sea is a moon or, you know what I'm saying, the eclipse or something like that. You know what I'm saying? The A is a pyramid. Like, bro, we can go all... I ain't, I ain't, I ain't even finna go all the way down now. So, Saturn. The car Saturn. We can clear as day see that it's obviously in a box. You feel me? In a cube. Every time you see the Saturn logo, it's in a cube. But you can see the ring. You can see the planet. It's tilted. Same thing. So, we'll move on to Lincoln. Now, this one has a cross in it. The Lincoln car. And this is also a trend. But y'all think that they do this for no reason. All of these symbols have some sort of power. If I wanted to break down the fencing, or like how you look at your fencing, you see symbols. Or a gate. You know what I'm saying? Anything like that, bro, you'll realize it. Like, it's all over the fucking place. I'm not lying about this. So, Lincoln has the cross in it. And so does Chevrolet. It's sideways. As we, as we know, the cross is the sun. It's a representation of the sun. Or Saturn with the hook. That's the Grim Reaper, the Sith. You feel me? The logo of Saturn. And also, man. <laughs> Alpha Romeo. Clear as day showing a reptilian eating a human on its logo with the cross. Saturn, the sun. Clear as day eating a human. But yet, I'm tripping, you feel me? I don't know what I'm talking about. I've done no research. It's right in front of y'all, bro. Y'all know of the Alfa Romeo car. Hopefully, I mean, they have commercials for it all the time. And also, Dodge Ram Saturn. I mean, I said Saturn, that, that's what I labeled it. But it's Dodge Ram, or really the whole Dodge company as a whole. So this Dodge family, we can see that that's Baphomet, right? But Baphomet is also Saturn because, you know what I'm saying, on the Zodiac, Saturn is ruled by Capricorn. Or no, Capricorn is ruled by Saturn. And Capricorn's um, animal is what? The goat. Come on now, man. They're not lying. I mean, they putting it in Do the Dodge family, the Dodge brothers. I'm just going to show the evolution of the family, you know what I'm saying, the whole symbolism of the family. A lot of people don't realize this. A lot of these people have started this like, you know what I'm saying? It's it's nothing new, bro. What you see around here is nothing new. Like, look at it, man. You see the hexagon. You see the six points. You see Dodge Brothers. You see the fucking Star of David, which is also a hexagon. You know what I'm saying, bro? It's all in front of y'all. <clears throat> and then you have the Masonic symbol with 1951. That's the, or that's the seal of Saturn. How could I mess up like that? That's the seal of Saturn, 1951. And we can see everything else, bro. It's plain as day. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, we dodge out the way. We'll move on to, no, also I forgot to mention, the Dodge Brothers. We can see, obviously, that they have some ties to something. 
Probably Masonic, you know what I'm saying? More than likely. But I'll leave that up to y'all to do research on. But yeah, bro, I, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's not a game, man. And also, I wanted to talk about, since I mentioned the seal of Saturn, I might as well mention sine and cosine. And how that relates to our DNA. Sine and cosine is a vibration frequency or a wave. You feel me? As I'll show right here. And this is also how our DNA or the double helix looks. Now, Saturn is represented as time, as a powerful structure. Really, the prison planet, it immutes a signal. You know what I'm saying? And DNA is cold, bro. So whenever you have cold inside of you, and especially cold that is locked, that tells you right there that you've been programmed. Simple as that, man. These crop circles tell you, they show it to you, cosine. They're showing you the double helix. You know what I'm saying? Another, another, why do you think crop circles are called unexplained? Or they never find out what it is? Because they're the ones doing it. they putting the symbols in front of y'all, bro. The reptilians are doing that, bro. It's plain as day. They even have crop circles telling y'all they doing it. Representing they hood. Representing they race. You feel me? They tagging. That's their way of graffiti. Showing they turf on earth. Simple, man. But I just also want to talk about how some people live their whole lives or some people spend several lifetimes Reincarnating onto this earth, not realizing this. Think about that for a second. All of you so called Christians, y'all don't realize what your symbol means. It's a damn shame. It's a damn shame, bro. <sighs> but I'm the crazy one, though, man. I'm the crazy one. I'll take the blame, but I'm going to just say this, man. I got no problem being the bad guy, giving y'all this information. I have no problem having my videos disliked from you sheep, from you damn goyim. You know what I'm saying? I have no problem dealing with that. But I'm just educating the youth, man. If y'all just, if this scares y'all, I get a lot of comments talking about y'all scared of this, bro. Do some more research, man. If you really want to leave this plane of existence, then you have to really want, you have to do your own research. You have to, you know what I'm saying? Research beyond what I've been telling y'all. And a lot of y'all be saying this too. Bro, you always saying do research. How? Where do I start? Bro, you lost, bro. Don't ask no dumb shit like that, man. Don't ask nothing. You have a mind, bro. You have to be creative, man. I mean... That's deep. I ain't. It is what it is, man. Look, I'm not finna. I'm not finna lead y'all to the water like that. You feel me? I mean, I'm. Not, I will lead y'all to the water, but I can't make you drink. You feel me? So, it's on y'all, man. Y'all continue believing that Bible. Y'all continue believing in religion. That's on y'all, bro. All of these people that have been worshiping these things and coming right back to this earth have no idea what's going on. All of the symbolism in front of them. Throughout television, you know what I'm saying? These logos, even our language, even how we speak. Cymatic shows you that symbolism is powerful. If it resonates on a frequency of sound, then what do you... Come on now, man. I shouldn't have to break that down, but just realize that symbols hold power, man. That's what binary is, you feel me? When you talk about the matrix... Just think of it with symbols. I know y'all all see that little flash of light in y'all eyes sometimes. Like in reality. You feel me? I, I'm speaking on some real shit right now. I know y'all be seeing that flash of little light. Like out of the corner of your eye. You'll see like a little flash of light. I remember. Um, but that's what people say happens with DMT. That they see little sparkles of light. But then it becomes huge. And then everything just breaks down. That's when reality breaks down because you're in a matrix. That's when they see the world for what it really is. And then they see all of the sacred geometry and all of these symbols around them. 
then that's when they realize, oh, this isn't what it, you know what I'm saying? The Bible doesn't talk about this. You know what I'm saying? Things that they won't tell you or any religion. You know what I'm saying? It's all worshiping of them. Y'all have to realize this, man. These people, man, these Jews, these reptilians, secret societies, like y'all have mentioned it in comment sections. I didn't want to talk about it because a lot of people are scared of this shit, bro. You motherfuckers eat babies, bro. Dead ass. They put babies in y'all food, in the meat. You feel me? And y'all consume it. This is what the world is, man. The world is hell. This earth is hell. You've you've come here because you you've decreased. You feel me? You've fallen from grace. You were in a higher frequency, but you did something wrong in your past life to where you ended up on this plane of existence. But it can't get worse. Don't think just because you know what I'm saying you you right here it can't get worse. You what you think the dinosaurs were, bro? That's is. That's damn near as low as it goes. You feel me? You living on an earth, a hot ass earth with nothing but brainless dinosaurs. You at your lowest form. You primitive. You know what I'm saying? They got the dinosaurs out the way to bring us here because this is the new hell. This is a level of hell. You know what I'm saying? You talk about the speed of light. You talk about just all of those things, bro. We are light beings. You feel me? It's already been proven we have an energy around us, like a force field of energy around us. They've proven that already. So don't think that I'm just talking some pseudo stuff about chakras and things of that nature. Meditation, the Merkaba, it's real, man. They spray the shit out of our skies with chemtrails. They put fluoride in your, you know what I'm saying, in your food. They put atrazine to make your children gay or your cousins and all them. You feel me? They trying to twist y'all up. And it's it's working. I mean, it's been working. It's a damn shame. So with that being said, man, I'm gone. Peace. No, no, no. I mean, change into your true reptilian form. You're one of the lizard people, aren't you? I mean, only explanation for your sense of loyalty. <laughs> you see that, man? His tongue, his fourth. He's one of them lizards, dog. You know, I hate to tell you this, but I am too. Man, we gonna eat your ass. Oh, you can joke now, but when he grows scales, remember this conversation.